One thing I noticed about life um, in general is that we spend a lot of time preparing. Uh, we prepare through school, education, I mean years, um, eight years, 10 years, 20 years for some people, preparing for an unknown and uncertain future. We have no way to predict what's going to happen when we graduate high school, uh, finish trade school, get college degrees. We know, we don't know. We don't know if we're going to get that job that we want. We don't know if that career is going to be waiting for us, but we prepare for it. Holy God, help us. But we prepare for it. But we don't put the same effort and time into preparing our souls for eternity. Scripture says, what would it profit? What does it profit a man to gain the whole world, but in turn lose his soul? We cannot predict what's going to happen after we prepare with schooling and education, but we can predict and know for certain where our souls will go if we're anchored in Jesus. Oh, if we make him our savior and our Lord, and we prepare ourselves. It says, if we have a hope, scripture says, if we have a hope of returning, with, going with him, then we must purify ourselves as he is pure. It, the the uh, 10 virgins, five wise, five foolish, they prepared, they brought extra oil. They trimmed their wicks when they heard that the bridegroom was coming. They got ready. And so we must do the same thing. We must prepare ourselves daily, deny ourselves daily, and take up our cross so that we'll be ready whenever Jesus comes. If we pass tonight and don't see the uh, great catching away, if we go tonight, our souls will be ready. And that's what matters because heaven and earth gonna pass away. But his word is going to stand forever. I hope you're ready.